Stone Fusion offers air-gapped and immutable storage options as a built-in feature. With air-gapped and immutability, backup administrators can protect critical data from ransomware, malware, viruses, and hackers. In this video, we'll demonstrate the different options and how they work. Air gapping is a critical security measure ensuring data safety. When we say a system is air gapped, it means the data within it is isolated, disconnected, and detached from any network or external access. This ensures an added layer of protection, making it immune to ransomware attacks, cyber threats, or unauthorized access. Air gapping can be implemented at various levels using Stone Fusion. Firstly, we can enable air gapping on the repository level, ensuring that the backup repository remains isolated, disconnected, and detached from the network. The second option is to extend air gapping to the controller level. By applying air gap measures to a specific controller, any repositories associated with that controller are also isolated, disconnected, and detached. The repository level and controller level are internal air gapping options which means they are available within the appliance. The third option is node level air gapping which is external and requires a dedicated secondary appliance. With this type of air gap, the entire node is isolated, disconnected, and unplugged from the network, ensuring maximum isolation and security. In addition to these air gap options, we offer different repositories supporting air gapping and immutability. As you can see in this example, several repositories are listed in the Veeam console. Each one represents the different repositories we support. The first one is an air-gapped and immutable repository that's based off of block storage. The second one is an appliance-level air-gapped and immutable repository for the virtual instance of the storage stack. Then we have an air-gapped and immutable file-level repository. The fourth one is an immutable repository that maintains a persistent connection with the Veeam instance. But it's immutable nonetheless and it is block level. Then we have an iSCSI repository that's integrated to the Veeam server itself. The next one is the Veeam integrated S3 air gapped immutable repository. We're the only vendor in the market with this capability. With Stonefly's S3 integration, you can leverage both air-gapped and immutable capabilities within an object storage environment. That means it is both isolated and unplugged, and the data stored in it cannot be edited, modified, or deleted for a set retention period. Lastly, we have an appliance-level repository that's not immutable but it is air-gapped. If we go to Home, and then click Jobs, you can see a list of backup jobs corresponding to the repositories we just discussed. Next, we will demonstrate two distinct internal air gapping options, repository level and controller level, and the external node level air gapping process. Additionally, we will also showcase how automation is facilitated using Veeam integrated job level triggers. When job starts, the Veeam software disables the air gap using a job level trigger, thanks to the Stonefly add-on integrated with Veeam. After disabling the air gap, Veeam initiates the creation of essential snapshots or incremental backups. We can observe this process as we ping the repository. Initially, we receive a request timed out error. However, as Veeam disables the air gap, the repository responds to the pings. This response signifies that it has been activated and is now accessible for the backup job. After this process is completed, the air gap protection is reactivated. We can observe this by pinging the repository. Initially, it responds to the pings, but once the repository is air gapped and disconnected, it turns to a request timed out error. This workflow applies to any backup job with air gapping and immutability enabled, whether it's an S3 based repository or one of our block level immutable repositories. When a repository is air gapped, it's listed in the unavailable tab in the Veeam console. In the Stone Fusion storage stack, the air gapped repository's operational status is marked as disabled. This indicates that the repository is disconnected, inaccessible, and secure. Similar to the repository level air gapping, the process of implementing controller level air gapping starts with a job level trigger from Veeam to temporarily disable the air gap. This allows the backup job to proceed. Once the backup job concludes, 
the job level trigger is activated again, reinstating the air gap. When we implement air gapping at the controller level, it goes beyond just the repository. As shown in the resources summary, even the controller itself is air gapped and isolated. This isolation is reflected in the controller's status, visible in the resources summary. It's marked as inactive during this state. Furthermore, if this particular controller serves multiple repositories, they too will be air gapped simultaneously, ensuring comprehensive protection. Now, let's move to the air gapped appliance. During the backup job, this appliance responds to incoming pings. After the backup task concludes, it automatically powers off through a trigger initiated by Veeam, as indicated by the request timed out error. Because the appliance is powered off, the stone fusion stack, which is accessible during the backup window, is now protected and inaccessible. Within the Veeam console, following a brief interval, you'll notice the air gapped appliance marked as unavailable. This signifies that even Veeam can no longer establish communication with it. It's important to emphasize that this is a true physical air gapping process. Unlike the concept of logical air gapping, where data remains separated but accessible, here, the appliance is completely powered off. What's more, it becomes entirely inaccessible through the network. And finally, the storage stack itself, which is the Stone Fusion OS, becomes entirely unreachable. Contact Stonefly to request a free Stone Fusion test drive.